Speaking of RuPaul's Drag Race <laughs> All Stars <laughs> season six, uh, yes, I am still watching that religiously. I would say at this point, watching RuPaul's Drag Race is the only thing I do religiously. <laughs> And all season long, as contestants have been um, packing up their stuff and they're about to leave the workroom, every episode, RuPaul pops up on the screen and says, hey, drag queen name, this season there's a game within the game. Do you want to play? And so all season, everybody's been saying, okay, what is this game within a game? When are we going to find out what it is? And they even got all the way down to only having four contestants left. They have their top four. Well. The game within a game was revealed. And I have to say, I really, really liked how they did it. So typically on All Stars, there's always some kind of a way for a contestant to make their way back on. Right. And it's usually like they'll pit all the eliminated queens versus all the queens that are still in play. And they'll do some sort of a competition thing so that like an eliminated queen can come back and one of the current queens has to leave. But again, like I said, they got they they got from like can't remember how many they started with if it was like twelve or something like that, but they got all the way down to four. So to me, that kind of a structure didn't make sense. And it turns out what they've been doing all along in the background is lip sync battles. And so they took the first two eliminated queens and they had to lip sync against each other. And then the one who went on, uh, the one who won, went on to do the next lip sync battle against whoever with the new eliminated, nice. and so on and so forth. It was spectacular. And there actually ended up being one queen, Silky Nutmeg Ganache, who, because <laughs> she was the third one eliminated, she made it all oh, the way to the end. Nice. Nice. And it's like, she, <laughs> she had some incredible gags that she did, like with props and stuff. So the first time she lip synced, she did it to the song uh, Girls Just Want to Have Fun by Cyndi Lauper. And as she's doing her thing and she's up against uh, Jiggly Caliente, who did fine, like she was okay, but like <laughs> Silky Nutmeg Ganache starts, as she's singing, she starts pulling things out of her cleavage and she pulls out like a tumbler glass and then she pulls out a little baggie <laughs> of ice and then she pulls out some kind of like juice or soda or something like that and then she pulls out a bottle of crown royal <laughs> mixes herself a drink starts drinking it and has her hand continue doing the lip sync for her <laughs> in time to the lyrics <laughs> i love it <sighs> or that's excellent the one that you can actually see, anybody can go look for this on YouTube, but because uh, they put it on the RuPaul's Drag Race YouTube channel. So she showed up for one of the lip syncs. It was supposed to be against Acaria C. Davenport, who basically just said, nah, I'm not doing it. I've done all I need to do here. I don't want to risk getting my heart broken again. And Silky said, Here's the thing. I take this really seriously. And I really feel like if I get to that end, I want to feel like I've earned it all the way. To me, this is like any maxi challenge. I want to do the lip sync. And RuPaul said, all right, what the hell? Go for it. And it's to, you know, queer anthem Barbie girl. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, when she came out, she had her face covered and this like lime green to the floor, some kind of a jacket. And when the music starts, she pulls the th thing off of her face and she's to the side and she's singing to it and starts opening the jacket. And then as soon as the, the because it's a, a song with two parts, right? Like there's the girl singing and then there's the man. And then as soon as the man goes, she turns around and it's a half and half costume. <laughs> and so she has like a man on one half and a woman on the other half. And so it, this whole thing is her turning back and forth the whole time. It's just it. I was howling. It was it sounds so amazing. <laughs> funny. I don't think I've ever seen RuPaul laugh that hard at a lip sync in the whole history of the entire show. Like it just gave me so much life. I ended up showing it to one of my kids later who thought it was the greatest thing ever and demanded to watch it again two more times in a row. Um, so yeah, again, All-Star season six might be my favorite All-Star season, wow. which I know could be controversial, but 
I don't know, the the challenges have been really interesting. The contestants have actually gelled really well together. I enjoyed all the previous ones too, but this one is just really doing it for me. 